this morning I was reading Mark chapter 4 and I was kind of stuck with the first verses where we see Jesus by the sea talking to his disciples and then the people started to gather around them. I was asking to myself, what was he doing there? Probably he was just having a nice walk and probably they sat on the on the sand and start to talk one to each other and, and uh, he started to comfort and to say good things and to teach, of course, to give lessons that reconfort people. And uh, they, they, were, they should be passionate about what they were talking about because people started to stop by and finally there was such a big multitude that Jesus had to step into a boat and go into the water. Um, it, it, that reminded me of the moments in my life when I uh, I've been walking on the woods, on the forests, or by the beach with some friends, and then you start to talk about things that you you, you really have at your heart with your friends, and uh, I I wonder what are your subjects of discussion with your friends. Obviously, for Jesus was to teach truth loving truth, caring about others and to enlighten others. Is that my conversation? Anytime that I go on the woods, on the forest or by the beach to, the, to talk with my friends, to the point that people that are surrounding me, they stop to listen? That has happened to me several times uh, in other moments that I'm talking to someone, explaining things, and people that I don't know, they stop by and they sit and listen to what I say. Uh, but only happens when you really, you you, you really uh, know the subject that you're talking about, or you're really passionate about it, and people are interested in that. So I encourage you to think about what are you sharing with your friends when you are walking by, when you're having a nice walk, a promenade, uh, either by the beach or on the forest or anywhere, and uh, to comfort. Think about what you're talking about and. Try to comfort them to share things instead of just pouring out your pain because that's what we have the tendency to do mostly. And Jesus was just helping others, enlightening others, teaching uh, and giving care. I encourage you to do so.